How you doing? It's Monday. <clears throat> Welcome to the replay. Welcome to Daily Fuel. My name is Bobby. I am the host of this group, Art Fueled Life, Quantasy. So if you're joining me in the replay, then say hello. You can uh, put a hashtag. You can write a comment. You can you can do the hearts and likes if you like, but I don't see that. Uh, you can uh, write, write a hashtag. I like those because those are easy for me to find in the replay. Uh, put hashtag... I'm in the replay. Hashtag, will he ever think of a hashtag before the live begins? Hashtag, probably not. Um, I got a haircut. No, I didn't. <laughs> I got a haircut like two weeks ago. Uh, anyway, Ray is here. Hi. Hi. How are you? And Mikey's here. Good evening. Hi. And Kirsten is here. Hello. Hello. How are you? And Robin's here. You got a haircut. I uh, did not get a haircut. Not today, anyway. Not not in the last week or so. Um, you know, I, I guess sometimes. Actually, you know what I did. I'll, I'll tell you what I did. I did it different today. I I I, uh, I got out of the shower and I didn't do anything to it right away, and it dried, uh, and it was like all like my hair is long and and straight, like it's like pin straight. So it's like uh, this this was just like flopping down, you know, like to here the in the morning. It's just like I I would just get like this flop in my face. And then I did it after it was all dry. What's going on right there? Some weird stuff. Anyway, uh, and I can't fix it when I'm looking at this because it's backwards, so I'm always grabbing the wrong side of my head. Uh, here's a Facebook user. Who's that? It's, it's, who is that? It's Nathan. Nathan. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Nathan, if you can see in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, the text of this post, there's a link to Ecamm. If you get a second click on that it'll let you uh it'll, it'll say give me permission to see you otherwise i see this facebook user um, if you get a chance you don't have to do it right now but if you do it now then the next comment you do will i'll see you and danielle's here hi all right let's get started because we're way past two minutes uh let me get rid of you i don't share i don't share my stage Wait for my dog to settle down up there. The message within art. The message within art. Nathan, I'm glad you're here, Nathan, because uh, you you you, uh, you suggested this one, and uh, you said art and the message for our time. Something something along those lines. Uh, in the uh, in in my post, like, hey, what should we talk about this week? The post that has been going on and on and on. And um, yeah, so it, that was a good one. I liked that one, and I've been I've been saving it for for when I had a good idea for it. I don't like to just do them because somebody said it. I like to wait until like like inspiration strikes, and I'm like, I know what to say on that topic now. And today I got that inspiration. I was thinking about different art movements and uh, and 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 the the way that they're interpreted through the lens of now. You know. Uh, I don't know if you went to art school. I did. I went to art school for, for in college, and we took art history classes. You know, so you you take art history classes and you learn all the different periods. And the way they teach it, it almost makes it seem like one day everyone said, "Hey guys, now we're in the Bauhaus period." So every or now we're in the Impressionist period. So everybody paint this way. Don't paint like this. You have to do like dip 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 dip. You have to do little things so that when you stand back from it. It looks, it's like, did they have a meeting? Like, how did they all know to do this, you know? And uh, it was very weird to me that, that you had these people who were, and I understand it didn't work like that. Like, one person started doing it, and then another person started playing with that idea, and then working off of that idea. And they had, like, a movement going. I get it, you know? But uh, I was like, do we do that? You know? I don't know. And, um... It, and it, it, it kind of made me uh, wonder, like, what what is the art of our time, you know? I, I, I always loved the modern period. It's like, really, that's the best name you could come up with? Like, hey, guys, check out this modern art. And then after that was postmodern. It's like, you, the, 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 not a lot of forward thinking in that, in that naming, <laughs> I think, right? So I look at our group, our, our group of artists here, and I see such an eclectic group of unique artists with our own styles and with our own thing and i was thinking like what is what is our thing you know 
and uh, and I realized that that what if the what if our thing is not the style that we're using to 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 make our art, but what if our thing is the message behind our art? And what if the idea of all of these different movements of the past, the Renaissance and the Impressionists and the whatever, you know, I'm not I'm not an art history. I can name a bunch of them, Art Deco and Art Nouveau, right? And uh, and 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 you know, what if all of those movements were precursors to our movement? Like our movement is the culmination of this spiritual awakening in humans. What if that's what it is? You know, so let's play with that for a little while. And and I was just thinking of I thought of three things. Surprise, surprise. Um, that number one is we can use art to share our message. Whereas a lot of these movements in the of the past were def, were defined by their style, ours can be defined by our message. I think because we have an eclectic, wide range of styles. Even just in this in this one Facebook group, but even artists of the day. You know, there are so many spiritual artists in the world who are not in this group, and I don't know why they're not in this group, but they should be in this group. Come on, right? Uh, but, you know, I think that our style, our thing, our movement is our message. And I feel like we can all use art to share that message. Uh, it's like it's our secret weapon, I say. You know, it's uh, she will not settle down. She just won't settle down. I, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, my dog. I'm talking about my dog. Uh, anyway, she distracts me. I don't need you probably. I don't even know if you guys hear her, but she suddenly will go like, She'll be laying there and she'll be like, I gotta move up there. And she'll like jump up and run across the floor and the floor is right above my head. So it's like, it's loud. Uh, anyway, but uh, the art is our message and art is our secret weapon to to share that message, you know? So it's like our message is this emotional, this, this, this inner, what is the word that I'm looking for? I'm looking for a word. It, it's like we're 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 trying to expand ourselves as individuals, but also as a collective. And I feel like the art that you create, and the art that this one creates, and the art that this one creates, and the art that I create, while individually are good, are interesting, are fun, are whatever, uh, collectively we are documenting this expansion of the human spirit. How's that? That's what I think. So that's number one. That's what I think our movement is. I'm, I'm kind of defining it as that. And number two, I believe that all art forms fit into this thing. A lot of these older art forms that we study and stuff usually involve paintings or sculptures. You know, there's, there's others, there's music, there's stuff like that. But really, when you think of like the Renaissance, you think of the sculptures and the paintings. Or you think of, right, the things that are obviously art, that people who are not artists or who don't live in art world would just recognize immediately as art and be like, oh, I went to the museum and I saw the art. And they would think immediately like paintings and sculptures, you know? So, but I feel like all art is art. And and I and it sounds weird to say that, except that I see questions in this group constantly. I do this, is that considered art? I write, is that considered art? I make these things, is that considered art? And the answer is yes, because if you're asking the question, I do this thing, is that considered art? That means to me that you consider it art, you're asking for permission for it to be art, and you don't need to ask permission for your art to be art, it's art. It's just art. There, 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 there's no permission, <laughs> permission granted, okay? And so, so let's start to understand that. If you're hearing this and you make something or you feel something or you create something or you draw something or you write something or you do something, you perform something, it's art. There's no question about it. And, and here is the, uh, here, here's the addition to that that I wanted to add. I don't know if Alyssa's here today because uh, Alyssa Povey, she put a poem in the group today about, it was uh, a poem expressing her dealing with chronic pain. And, uh, and I wrote that she was inspirational in the comments. And she asked, thank, uh, she said, thank you, why? Why do you think that I'm inspirational? So my answer was that I feel like all of us deal with some kind of obstacle, some kind of uh, things that we need to get around or get over or whatever in our lives, you know, and the things that bug us are, are important to us, you know, 
whether it, and if it's chronic pain or if it's the loss of a loved one or if it's this or it's that it doesn't it doesn't matter right we all have a thing that oh, i wish i didn't have that thing you know and we can all use it as an excuse to not follow our passions we can all use it as an excuse to just say i i can't i i would do it except for that thing you know um but she's not and hers is pain i mean it, 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 it's she, she wrote in the poem that the the, the 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 creation of art quiets this noise in her head and the noise is pain you know and that doing the art alleviates the pain and 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 it would be so much easier i think for any person to just be like well i'm in pain and so i'm not even going to bother doing things but she doesn't do that and to me that was inspiring and it made me realize that in this eclectic group of artists that it's not just the art that we're putting on the table and saying hey i made this and i made this and i made this that's expressing this movement of ours it's the actual creation of art that is the movement that is the expansion of the human soul. And it's an important distinction because we are the artists, but we are also the art. We are creating ourselves. So that, that's number two, is all art is the art and that the, the, the creation of art is art itself. Because, uh, you know, that should have been two and three because three is kind of an ex extension of that. Three is that the message is the energy. It, it does, the, the, the thing about what we are doing here is not that it's the, the, the we're all following some cool style like, hey, look what I do when I, I chisel marble this way. We should all do that now. It doesn't matter, right? I don't think that the, the painting techniques or the, 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 the dance moves or the singing styles or anything is what's important uh, for us. I think that the style, the language that we use, the color schemes that we use are all irrelevant. It's the energy. It's the energy that we bring to it and the intention that we're putting to our work. Uh, Crimson's here. There's one I want to do that you asked about. Is it still art if you didn't put intention toward the piece? And I think that it is. Uh, to, uh, I'm going to give you the short answer and then if, whenever I get to it, I'm going to give you the long answer. But the short answer is yes, because we have the intention to create through this process. And sometimes we don't have the intention for a specific piece, but, you know, we have the intention to be artists and to be expanding the human spirit. And all of a sudden we're just walking down the street, blah, 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 this thing comes out and it's like, where did that come from? But here it is. It's art. I didn't think about it. I didn't plan it, but it came out of me. You know, so uh, is that not art because you didn't sit down one day and doodle thumbnails first? No, of course not. You, it's art. <sighs> There's so much noise upstairs today. It's it's distracting. But anyway, uh, that's that's my thing. That's my spiel. Let's see what you guys have to say about all this. You know what it is too, it is so freaking hot down here today. I need to get a fan of some kind or an air conditioner. I can't run a fan when I'm doing this though because it'll be too noisy. But uh, anyway, let's see what you guys have to say. I did not get a haircut. <laughs> uh, that was Nathan and Haley's here. Hey guys, keyboard keeps freezing and cat keeps knocking the phone out of my hand so I might be quiet. Okay. Uh, for a change, okay. <laughs> uh, Kirsten, I failed art history first year because I kept falling asleep. I aced it the next time though. You know, I wish that I had, um, I wish that I had appreciated art history class when I took it more because uh, I remember it, I remember it being semi-interesting except I was already in like my fifth year of college at this point. Uh, if you don't know my story, I went to school for engineering before I went to art school. And I was just like, uh, halfway through engineering school, I realized that uh, I hate this. I don't want to be an engineer. And I wanted to be an artist, but I was like, well, I'm already almost done. So it was like, uh, I was going into my senior year. And the, but then I failed a class and, and in my senior year. And in order to get my degree in engineering, it was going to take an extra year because now I had to retake that class next year when it was given again. And that was a prerequisite for another class that I needed for my degree. And I was like, oh, my God. So now it's going to be five years of college. Well, so I said, screw that. And I left and I went to art school. And I said, well, if I need extra years, I may as well get a degree that I want. 
So now I was in my fifth year of arts of college and I was taking an art history class and I wasn't interested in lectures anymore. I just wanted to be like doing things, you know? I just wanted to be, tell me what I gotta do so I can do it and go here and get an A and get out of here. I wanna, I wanna be done with school at that point. But um, we took this class and the guy was cool, uh, but I didn't really, uh, I didn't really pay that much attention to it because I wasn't interested in lectures anymore until we went on a field trip to the museum, no, the, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City and wow that was amazing that was an amazing day I'll never forget that and uh, it kind of opened my eyes to things and to this day now I love to go to the city to museums I love going to the Met I love going to MoMA um, even the, the the Museum of Natural History it's not an art museum but I'm into science stuff too so so there's that but anyway uh, I wish I had paid more attention in uh, in art history classes, the point. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Spiritual art collective. Yeah, you know, that I feel that's kind of what we are. Uh, evolutional art. Is that Nathan again? Well, I don't know. Oh, let me see. So I got to take my glasses off. Let me see for a change. Who was that? Yeah, uh, that was Nathan. Evolutionary art. Yeah. That's what I feel like. I feel like we are an, on, on a, if, if we were looking at uh, ourselves as, I guess we are, as, as the evolution of a species, except not biologically, spiritually, right? We are that, we are that, that generation that is expanding it to, 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 to more, right? That's what I think. Inner purpose, collective purpose. Yes, I like that, right? That's what I said, and that's a really good way to put it. There's an inner purpose that is part of a larger collective purpose. And and we bring our and, and we bring our, our independent things into this collective purpose. But the interesting thing about it is that the inner purpose, the individual purpose, is just as important, is just as as relevant and and is just as important to the overall scheme you know it's not like well I'm just a nobody making thing I'm making the cog that makes the thing spin and here oh I added my two cents no every single one of us is creating something that's an important element in this thing and it wouldn't work without it except that one guy we don't need him uh, crimson uh, if art if you say it, it's art if you say it is. Yeah, it is. It's art if you say that it is. You're the artist. How is it not, right? How is it not art if you're an artist and you make something? The only way that it's not art is if you believe the person telling you, that's not art. It's like, you didn't make that. You did Right? There's always going to be somebody that thinks it's crap. There's always going to be somebody that thinks you're bad at that. There's always going to be somebody that thinks that doesn't count. Who gives a crap? Those people don't count. We, we're the, 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 we don't listen to them. It's, it's only you. You're the only one. Our art is documenting the expansion of the collective human experience. Love it. Did I say that? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, our art is documenting the expansion of the collective human experience. Uh, I did say that, didn't I? And I'm going to put, that's going to be my post later tonight. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I always try to think of something that I said in the live. So a couple hours later, I'll put it like in big letters in the group. And then it's like, it's after dinner. I'm getting in my PGs and I'm just like, I can't remember what the hell I said. <laughs> sometimes I do. And sometimes I don't. Haley said, that's a nice picture of you, by the way. Uh, I think many creators have been part of our time and awakening. I'm saying that because I know that you made a point of saying that you're pampering yourself and uh, it, 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 you look very nice. Um, I think many creators have been part of our time and awakening. How many Marvel movies and comics? George Lucas, he's a master as well. Yes, art, I believe, has the ability to raise awareness. That, that... I'm glad you said this because there was a whole thing. You remember uh, last year or earlier this year or whatever it was that, um, what's that director's name? The Scorsese was like, yeah, Marvel movies, they're not cinema, you know? And it's like, who, it's like, I know that you're Martin Scorsese and I know that you get a, a, a high opinion of cinema and stuff like that. But I don't feel like anybody has the the right to knock another artist's art just because they're not, 
uh, on a certain level or something like that. He wasn't saying they're not art and they're not valid movies. He was saying they're not cinema, you know, and uh, because they're just like, you know, popcorn money grabbers and things. But here's the thing about that is that um, when I watch a Martin Scorsese movie, there is there is definitely a lot of artistry to it that's missing from other, you know, like the blockbusters and stuff like that. I'll give him that. It's got elements that those other movies glaze over that that he thinks of details that that the that the Michael Bay's don't care about. But that's not that doesn't mean that one art kind of movie is better than another kind of movie. It just means that they're different, you know, and 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 they're st they still have their important place because those Marvel movies and those Star Wars movies and those even the Michael Bay ones. I'm not a big fan of his, but that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't because some people are, you know, when you watch those movies, you come out of them feeling something. And that's the point. It's not the the CGI. It's not the the color grading. It's not any of that stuff. It's the feeling that you walk away from uh, from it with. And, and, and to me, I feel like that's what we're all doing here is we're creating something to help people walk away from it with a feeling. And the point I made about uh, my conversation with Alyssa today is that sometimes you can get that feeling from the fact that it was just created and not even from the creation itself. You know, her art is great. If you if you haven't seen it, she she makes jewelry, kind of like Barbara does. I don't know if Barbara's here today, but uh, it's beautiful. You know, it's, it's great. She's very, very good at it. But sometimes the mere fact that she's doing it is the part that gets you. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's doing it despite. And, and I think that we have the ability to inspire people with our action and with our art. Christina's here. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. I can very much relate to art being able to quell the pain we feel, whether it's physical or psychological. Uh, yes, I think that we all can. And uh, because, because, because why? Because we, art for us is, is a gateway into our, into our, uh, into our spiritual zone when we get in the flow we get in the zone we get in the pocket right we we know these expressions and we know what they mean and we know what they feel like and that feeling is getting into the quantum zone and creating it's where creation happens in the unknown in the way out there right and when we're in that zone when we're in that flow there's no pain there there's no physical pain there's no psychological pain there's none of it there's only joy the creation is the joy that was the name of a daily fuel that i did a while back the creation is the joy it's not the do the painting so i can put it on the wall and look at it for the rest of my life no it's the doing it's the thing it's the making just breathe the dog sounds like rain to me very relaxing oh okay that's nice uh, that's good to know because uh, you know in the back uh, it's interesting that you say that because I suffer from everything we all suffer from by the way I'm not Superman standing here so so if, if she's quiet now right but um, sometimes when there are too many distractions for me it's not only that it distracts me it's that I'm nervous I get this nervous feeling that my distraction is so obvious that I'm ruining the whole thing no point in even saving. Let's just do it tomorrow. You know, and that's what my ego wants to tell me. Um, I don't listen to him. I keep going. But uh, but that's that's the thing. So good. I'll remember it. It's raining out. Okay, good. Uh, art. Uh, Haley says art has the ability to heal. Yes, especially trauma. Yes. Uh, yes. Absolutely. <sighs> I'm gonna take a sip of water if you don't mind. Uh, all right, so so Haley is continuing her last comment. It has helped with healing my PTSD. All my emotions go into everything I paint and create. It's the best release in the world. That's great. That's really fantastic. You know that that you have found an outlet to help you with a problem, and that's that's really it. And now this outlet creates joy for you and creates beauty for us. 
crimson. The collective energy of this group is like music. Being part of this group makes my heart sing. That's really nice. I like that. When you think of, because uh, it's easy for me to imagine it like music because I think of like a band or a symphony or an orchestra or, you know, a group, right? It's like, so we are a group of artists and we're all doing our individual part. And if you just listen to the flute, it would sound really nice. But when you listen to the flute and the cello and the violin and the things all together, and you got 15 flute players doing their parts, right? And it's like, all of us, it just creates that symphony. It creates that whole different experience. And I feel like each one of us is bringing our own, what did we call it? Inner, inner purpose. Well, each one of us is bringing our own inner purpose to the table and we are creating the collective purpose. There's a lot of catchphrases in this one today. Ro Robin. <laughs> I just this minute thought of something that I have been noticing my on my own about a lot of art I've been seeing from art all over the world, or more specifically, the art that I pay the most attention to or feel an affinity for. I see painted abstract art that seems to look to me like the layers I see as well in digitals. And some things created digitally can look like something that was or could have been painted. Right, so you're seeing the, the you're seeing the, the the different styles in it, within the different mediums, but you're seeing them like like there's a mixture. Uh, I like that. That's cool. And vice versa. I sort of sense a correlation among all types of art being created today within our group and elsewhere. Many use dots, lines, switches, slashes, solids, trips, blah, 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 blah. I think that just like the masters of the past seem to have been influenced by ideas in the air and or each other. It is still happening now and to this day. Yes, I agree with that uh, because I think digital art influences non-digital art. And the reverse is also true as well. Not sure what to call today's evolution, so I'll leave that up to the art historians of tomorrow. Yes, yes, so the art historians of tomorrow will look at the art of today and notice some kind of correlation or pattern and give it a name, right, I'm sure. But uh, that it's interesting because the uh, I agree with, with you. There, there are many people in here creating digital art and there are many people in here doing uh, non-digital. And some of you, I can't tell which is which. Some of you are obvious about it. You, you say, this is an acrylic on 16 by 25, right? And, and others of you will sit like Robin, you're, you're very open with the fact that it's digital. But some people, I don't know, or some people do both and it's not always obvious which one is which uh, from what they do. So it's interesting to me that that, uh, that, that there is a, uh, a drawing of the, uh, of technology into all of our art, even the ones who aren't using the technology are still being, the word just went right out of my head, uh, are still being affected by it. That's not the word. What's the word? You know the word. Donna, I like the way this sounds. Okay. <laughs> but, hey, Victoria's here, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm late, but I made it to a live. Woo! -hoo! Yay! It's always nice to see you. Uh, Victoria, hello, beautiful friend. And hey, Lisa, I thought you were going to be quiet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this group. We're like the X-Men. Different gifts, but the same purpose. I love this group. Oh, thank you. That's, that's cool. We are like the X-Men, right? Um, hmm. Who am I? <laughs> Baby Wolverine? <laughs> I said I'll be quiet, didn't I? I pushed the cat off. I can't help it. I just love Daily Fuel and the whole vibe. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. That's great. I love Daily Fuel, too. I've said this before. This is my favorite part of the day. I just, I love doing this. Um, yeah, so, well, that's the last comment. Uh, so we'll see if some more come in. But uh, if not, I'm going to split. <sighs> Our, what is the word? When 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 th when you see things and then you make work based on what you felt from that, uh, wait, is, nobody's giving me the word. Um, anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it as always. And uh, yeah, we're, we're we're influenced. Thank you. They are influenced. <laughs> hey. 
They are influenced by it. Wow, that only took 10 years. Uh, yes, inspired also. Yeah, influence is the word, Robin says. Yep, thank you. You didn't finish reading my comment. Yes, I did. The Art Historians of Tomorrow. I read that. I read that. Was there another comment? I don't know. I'm sorry, Robin. Uh, influence is the word. Inspiration is another word. Yes, but I was thinking of influenced. So, no. No to inspiration. Uh, booby. <laughs> yep. Here come, here come the booby prizes. Uh, let me see. I agree with Robin about noticing things intertwined in mediums. Yes, you do? Cool. Okay. It's good because I, I notice that too now that she's saying it. It's not it's not something I thought of to say today, but once I read it that, that she said, I was like, yeah, I think you're right. I do notice that. Uh, nook. Nook. I'd. Okay, you're just, you're just hitting letters trying to get the booby prize, aren't you? That's allowed. That's allowed and encouraged. Okay, well, guys, thank you so much for um, for being here today. As always, I appreciate it. We will be back tomorrow. And Donna tried to get the booby prize, but Crimson came right in and stole it from me right there. I was like, click, click. Uh, I also noticed repeating patterns. Yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, if you're Donna, uh, wonderful night. If you're anybody else, and Christina, you now have the booby prize, and I'll leave it right there. Have a good one. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>